Another option in the settings menu are the notifications. Here you can set up to hear a warning beep once you get a warning. When switching through the different assistance modes, you get a mode beep. Or if you want to receive a notification once your battery has only reached 20% left of a charge. There is a 10% battery charge notification as well, which can't be turned off. So the 10% battery notification is always displayed once you reach that mark. Should you have activated all three options and your battery happens to be at 20% charge left, you get a small pop-up notification, which you can also deactivate if you wouldn't want to receive it in the future. Should you deactivate the 20% pop-up, the 20% battery charge warning will also automatically deactivate. Now you can also reset all three options back to the initial settings by clicking on the reset. The initial or original settings has all three options activated. Next settings options are the general settings. Here you can change the language from English to German, for example, which are currently installed and more languages will be added via a live update in the future. You can change the current date and as you change it, the current date shown at the bottom changes simultaneously. So you know what date you have or you change the date manually. Just scroll down to the current date setting and choose the year month and the day and confirm it by choosing yes at the end. The same goes for the time settings. You can choose between 12 and 2400 hour options and you can see this change right up here. And once again you can change it manually by choosing the hour and the minutes. You are then asked if you want to accept the changes made and your new time will be shown. Finally, you can also choose your units, such as the metric, like meters, kilos, or centimeters. Or you can use the British system with pounds, feet, and miles. Should you want to reset everything, I just explained, just go to the bottom and choose the reset, all back to the standard option.